the years of retro gaming, SNK brought out a lot of really cool games. And I've covered a handful through the years on this channel, and hell, most recently I've covered quite a few SNK games. I don't know what the fuck it is, but hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Well, today's review is Three Count Bout, developed and published by SNK and released in the arcade in 1993. It was also found on the Neo Geo AES and Neo Geo CD, which the Neo Geo CD version was released in 1995 in Japan and 1996 in North America. Three Count Bout is a wrestling slash fighting game. Kind of reminds me a bit of Saturday Night Slam Masters, a game I covered back in 2018 that was released by Capcom. And there's a little bit of a story behind this game, and it goes like this. SWF, which is the SNK Wrestling Federation, and it's probably better than AEW and WWE, features the top wrestlers of the pro wrestling world. They decided to hold the Worldwide Indiscriminate Class Tournament, which is set up to determine the true world champion and allows the world's most powerful wrestlers to participate with no weight class limit. The tournament also incorporates a radical death match, which is the most severe battle in the history of pro wrestling. I mean, if you look at death matches in Japan, they're pretty fucking crazy. Death matches back in the day were just mind blowing. Of course, you have death matches of today. You got that one dipshit, Nick Gage, drug addict, bank robber, stupid fuck, the list goes on. Now, there are 10 wrestlers in the game, and they are all fictional, which is pretty cool. There is Terry Rogers, Blue Hablam, Roy Wilson, Leo Bradley, The Red Dragon, Gochak Big Bomb, the Gandhara, Blubberman, Master Barnes, and Big Bombarder. When it comes to the wrestling matches, they're pretty standard. You grapple, punch, kick, do moves, and so on. And then there are fight locations like a factory, parking lot, which will turn this into a more of a hardcore wrestling match. And you have the ability to use weapons. There is also multiplayer where you can play against each other or do tag team matches. And there is some unique features in Three Count Bout, and one of them is these gauges being displayed on the screen when you approach your opponent. You can give priority to a technique by hitting the button repeatedly until the gauge meter is higher than the opponent's. You can also do running moves, aerial moves from the top rope, and more. You can go outside the ring, but only for a certain amount of time, and when it comes to stages, there are five championships with their own stages and feature matches ranging from being in the ring to a street fight. You can pin your opponent or even cause them to tap out when their stamina is low. Which, since this gameplay has more of a fighting game vibe to it, I just butt mash like a motherfucker, and a lot of the times I did get my ass kicked. So it's a bit on the tough side, but still fun and playable, as well as being action-packed. The graphics for Three Count Bout are pretty damn good. SNK was known for some really well done games back in the day when it comes to graphics, ranging from arcade to console. Hell, even the Metal Slug games on the Neo Geo Pocket Color looks pretty decent. Granted, it had slowdowns, but graphically, when it came to the sprites and everything, it was badass. Looking at this game, really fucking good. The characters look great, the design of the ring and the crowd is well done. The other areas you can fight in look awesome. There is damage done to vehicles and so on. I just think that looks pretty fucking cool for its time. The entrances are cool, but why the fuck is there a barricade in the way? Are they coming through the crowd or something? Are they Sandman? The shield? What the fuck is this shit? Game doesn't slow down, it doesn't glitch, no fuck ups, and playing this through MAME it runs very smooth. Nothing I can say bad here at all. When it comes to the music, I mean come the fuck on, it's SNK, it's fucking damn good, it's well composed, sounds great, fits the theme of the game, has a bit of a rock soundtrack ranging from the title screen music, the game mode select screen, or where you can select your characters, as well as the music during matches. Each wrestler has their own entrance music, which is nice, the music during the matches fits perfectly, and when it comes to the sound effects from the fighting noises, the crowd cheering, and so on, it's well done. The ref does the counting, and it sounds great. Also, during the entrances, there is an announcer who says who the wrestler is, and so on. That is pretty damn cool, and sounds clear. Nothing to complain about. The controls, well, for the most part, I like them. Moving around is easy. You are going to do a lot of butt mashing, but at times when attacking, it seems a little slow at responding. Just slightly, though. Still very playable, and I can look past that. But it can be frustrating at times. You just need to butt mash like a motherfucker. Three counts. Count Bout is fucking awesome. I really like it a lot. It takes a lot of the combination of wrestling and fighting games and does one hell of a job with it. The gameplay is great, action packed and so on. The wrestlers are awesome, a nice variety. I do wish there was maybe 15 or so total, but still a great roster. The graphics kick ass, the music is awesome, as well as the sound effects and a little bit of voiceover work. The controls have a slight flaw, but like I said, it's nothing real bad and I can look past it. You're just gonna have to mash buttons and hope for the best, unless you're really good at this game. If you wanna check out 3 Count Bout for yourself, fire 
up MAME and play it. Definitely worth checking out and see if you can kick some ass. Of course, make sure you hook up a game controller to it, like a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 or Xbox One or whatever. I'm sure you can find those PC controllers that are knockoff of both. Of course, this game was released on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch in 2018, obviously in digital form. But if you want the Neo Geo home console versions of this game, there is a Neo Geo AES version for $250. If you want to build your own cabinet, there is a cart for the Neo Geo MVS for $129, another Neo Geo AES cart for $199.99, another MVS cart for $75. So they range from the $70 to as high as $480. And that's fucking crazy. Just play it on MAME or get it digitally on consoles. It'll be a lot cheaper for you. Sadly, there is no sequel. Kind of surprising. You would think they would have had a few back in the day, bring new characters in and so on and make a nice little series, but it didn't happen. And with a variety of wrestling and fighting games out there, I doubt we will ever see a sequel, but it would be pretty fucking cool. I hope you enjoyed this review of Three Count Bout for Arcade. Thanks for watching. One, two. Blubber Man. That looks like Ethan Ralph. I bet Ethan Ralph wishes he was Blubber Man so when he was in Portugal he didn't get his ass kicked. But he has his fake fucking man purse, pussy ass, fatso, with his horse faced girlfriend. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. Who comes up with this shit? The graphics for Three Count Bout are fucking great. That's all I gotta say. You know who would be a good character for this game? Big Bull. And not the bull for you fucking cuckolds out there that like to watch your wives or girlfriends get fucked. <laughs> like a big bull. Death matches of today, you got that one stupid fuck Nick Gage. Drug addict, bank robber, stupid fuck, crackhead fucking girlfriend, wife, whatever the fuck she is. Fuck toy. She's probably a fuck toy. She's probably the fucking fuck toy of all those stupid hillbilly fucking uh, mud shows. <laughs> <laughs> 